Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back to Create Aid. Today we will take a quick look on all the products released by my favorite things for the month of September and tomorrow I'm going to be back creating 8 cards using the products. And let's start with an adorable stamp set. Now this is called Animal Farm and as you can see it comes with 8 different uh, cute animals and um, with little trees and uh, different props that you can use to create a little scene. Now of course you get uh, matching sentiments. The sentiments are perfect for birthdays as well as uh, friendship cards. Now let's move on to another stamp set that I really really love from this release and it's probably my favorite one. This is uh, called Bitty Bears and these bears are just adorable. I am going to count them out for you and uh, they came out to be 13 different ones and each one of them is holding a different thing or, or doing uh, something different. And that is great because you can match it with all the sentiments included in the stamp set and uh, they are perfect for pretty much any occasion so there is one holding a little heart there is this one who is eating honey there is the, this little guy who is ready for winter and uh, he is ready for Christmas with his little hat he is holding a balloon another one is holding a leaf an umbrella I think it's just adorable perfect for any occasion and there are sentiments just like it's time to party a little something for you you are the sweetest and many more And as I always say, you can't have a proper release if you don't have a flower stamp set. So this is the Rustic Wild Flowers. As you can see, there are different uh, flowers that you can layer one on top of the other. So there are actually three different layers to stamp. And um, there is a little line that uh, surrounds all those uh, matching layers. So it's really easy for you to tell which one, which stamp goes with which one. Now, uh, there are, as you can see, leaves, there are flowers, and um, they are perfect for creating a little bouquet. And I always like this type of flaring stamps because you can create a card super quickly since you don't have to color in anything. Now, here is another stamp set, and again, you get flowers. This is called Plentiful Petals and uh, the flowers come in different sizes. And there are also little stamps that you can stamp at the center. Now, there is also a little line that uh, surrounds the flower along with the center, so you know which center goes with which flower. And of course, there are matching dyes. Now, I'm going to show you something cool about this uh, type of stamps that MFT is doing. There is a little arrow on top of each of uh, those stamps. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to zoom in for you so that you can see better. And here is the little pointy arrow on each one of those stamps. Now this is great because it's a great feature that helps you match the matching dies with the stamp set. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. So you need to grab your matching dies. And um, in each one of those dies there is a little uh, area that is marked differently. Hope you can see that. And all you have to do is to match this area here with a little arrow on the stamp. And this way you avoid turning around your die again and again until you find how it aligns perfectly. And here is a, a stamp which is full of sentiments. These are uh, my favorite stamps because I can use them again and again. This is called All Smiles and it comes with this big word that says smile that you can combine with any of the sentiments below. But also you can use a tinier size of smile so this one that fits perfectly with the size of the rest of the sentiments and there are beautiful sentiments sentiments such as your smile is always in style i will smile when i'm with you you are awesome and many more now there are also these dies these are called double the smile it comes in different fonts and you can uh, combine them with the stamp set if you wish or you can use them to completely separately and that completes the bigger uh, dies that have been released. But uh, let's move on to the smaller ones. These are the 4x6 ones. And this is called Wild Woodland, another adorable stamp set. It features four different creatures as well as a tree and different little props that you can create little scenes on top of your uh, cards. Again, this is perfect for birthdays as well as friendship cards. And it features sentiments such as with love from all of us, your friendship makes life bearable, thank you for being my friend, and there are also matching dies. 
And here is another 4x6 stamp set which I really love, it's perfect for this time of the year. This is called Modern Trees and there are also matching dice as you can see. And it comes with the tree trunks separately and you can stamp on top the leaves. Now each tree goes together with a bunch of leaves and there is also a line that indicates which leaves go with uh, which trees. Now what I love about this stamp set is that you can use it throughout the year so depending on the color of your leaves you can create uh, autumn uh, trees or you can uh, use just the tree trunk to create uh, to put it on top of a snow bank and create a winter scene or you can even use it for uh, spring cards etc. A beautiful stamp set in my opinion for creating really elegant cards. And let's move on to the smaller stamp sets for this uh, release. These are the 3x4s. Uh, so the little bear is back in the Rooting for You stamp set. He is holding carrots on one hand and shovel on the other. And there are sentiments such as a carrot about you, I'm rooting for you, thanks bunch, I love you a whole bunch and more. And there is also a matching die if you wish to pop him up on your card. And the little girl is back this uh, month again. This time she is eating an apple and uh, there is a basket full of apples just next to her. There is also an individual apple that you can stamp anywhere on your card. And I really love uh, those stamps with the pure innocence little girl. I really collect those and it's a great collection since um, they are tiny stamps so they are quite inexpensive. And I have also noticed from your comments that I always get a great feedback when I am using her on my cards. And here is another stamp set, one of the tiniest ones, which is totally beautiful. I love the handwriting of this grateful word. And there is also a branch that you can uh, stamp it on top or at the bottom, just to embellish your card a little bit more. This is a great stamp to create a nice bold sentiment on top of a quite simple card or on a busy background. And now let's move on to the dies for this month. These are the A2 Rectangle Stacks set 1 and 2 and although they look identical you get different sizes of these rectangles. You get 11 different dies on each one of those sets and you can see that I can place one inside the other. So you can pretty much uh, mix and match these, but um, between those two you would probably get each and every size of rectangle you could uh, ever need for an A2 card. And if you love creating little scenes on top of your cards, I know you will love this uh, die. This is called Animal Far Fence and it's perfect for all those little outside scenes. So I could combine it with my little girl uh, that she is eating an apple or I can even combine it with those uh, uh, stamps that have uh, little creatures such as uh, this farm set. So I could probably combine a white or a red fence on top of uh, green cardstock to create my little valley and just place all those animals on top. Now here are a couple of uh, dies that you can use to add your sentiments. So this is the slanted sentiment strips where you can see there is a little angle on one side where you can stamp the, your sentiment and put it on top of your cards. And then you can also get the essential speech bubbles which I really love for adding sentiments and on top of my little creatures as if they are saying something. And these were actually available previously as a free with 60. So now let's move on to this uh, circle die. This says uh, thank you all around and this is great for creating uh, shaker cards or you can use it as it is and just nest something inside. And here is another die set perfect for shaker cards. This is the oval shaker window and frame. There are plastic pouches. They fit perfectly inside those uh, holes but of course you can use uh, your acetate to create your own uh, windows. Now if you love big bold sentiments this is a perfect die for you, it comes with two words that say blessed and blessings in a beautiful handwriting uh, style. These are great to add as a sentiment on top of a really busy background paper or on top of a background that you have created using all those different techniques out there. And here is a really fun die, this is called Pop-Up Alphabet and it doesn't count all those letters completely. So there is a little hinge at the bottom of each letter, so when you cut it out on a piece of cardstock you will see that you can pop up all those letters but they will not completely separate. I'm going to use this tomorrow so you can see how fun it is. 
You can place things at the back that show through, such as different colored papers, or even turn it into a shaker card. So there is also this uh, pop-up uh, numbers. This is actually free with 60. So if uh, you order more than $60, then you will get this die uh, for free. And again, it's the exact same concept as with the alphabet, where the letter doesn't cut out all the way. So these were all the products released by My Favorite Things for the month of September. You will find links all to all of them down below in the description area, as well as on my blog. And I'll see you all tomorrow, where I will be creating 8 cards, putting most of these supplies into use. Thank you all for watching and have a great day!